I'm uh, speaking with Richard Archer from Pax Christi. Uh, hello, Richard. Hi, how are you? Um, I was wondering if, if initially you could just tell us uh, what Pax Christi is uh, as an organisation and, and what you do. Right. Well, first of all, very quickly, it was founded in 1945 by a French woman and a French bishop, mainly to act as a sense of reconciliation with the Germans. And you can imagine that would have been quite difficult straight after the, the Second World War. And then it's grown from that and just about in, I won't say every country in the world, but certainly in well over 100 countries. And as a Catholic Church peace organisation, it is obviously based on gospel and it's basically uh, the gospel that we work from and uh, following its precepts and, and so on. We act as advocacy in various aspects, particularly in social justice and of course in peacemaking. In New Zealand we do exactly the same. Um, our headquarters are up in Auckland where we interact with all kinds of peace groups and interfaith groups and, and so on and so forth, and particularly with um, non-government organisations, civil society in various ways. We have a presence wherever justice, peace and development is, is of a concern. Excellent. Now, compared to some of the other speakers, uh, you took a slightly more sort of philosophical approach and stepped back from the what's immediately happening uh, in Afghanistan at the moment, and even in the last sort of uh, nine years since New Zealand's been involved. Um, you talked a bit about militarism, and I guess in a society where militarism is so imbued, as you say, in our society and culture, um, what are some of the ways um, that this can be sort of combated from your point of view? Right. Uh, where does one begin? <laughs> uh, as I mentioned, yes, militarism seems to be a part and parcel of who and what we are. And of course it goes deep into history, doesn't it? And where do we begin? We've got to begin somewhere, and in some ways uh, lots of people are. All right, let's just simply go back again to Christ's teaching and the Beatitudes in particular. Uh, also turning the other cheek. Many people find that, of course, is, well, naive and not realistic and, and, and so on. But uh, we start with ourselves. We've got to be at peace with ourselves before we can peace with, with anybody else, for that matter. Mm. Then we begin with our families. We move from ourselves to our families, then to the community. So we be at peace with those three groups and then ultimately with the nation, and we hope, with the world, so it's certainly something that's got to be internal within ourselves, and then we try and be with other people, supporting them, we act as, as advocates for the homeless, uh, for people who are in distress of one kind or another, and we particularly think of immigrants and refugees. Mm. In a society where sort of, uh, like, I guess, uh, uh, the biblical sort of so maybe sort of world view or even understanding knowing what the um, Beatitudes are ha has been lost um, in what way do Pax Christi sort of um, try and sort of re-spread that, that message uh, like do you see your um, actions as a group being um, being a witness or, or how do you go about re-educating a society to you know b f find peace <laughs> well, peace, you'll find that is, it, it, it does exist, of course, it's there. Most of us want to be at peace. Most of us are at peace in many, many ways. Uh, we work, of course, through the children within our families and within the schools. Uh, we have, for instance, Pax Christie in Britain has produced a lot of material for use in schools. Uh, of peacemaking, of simple games, of, of games that are not necessarily competitive but still highly enjoyable. Simple things like that, that you don't need to win at everything and if you do win, you win gracefully and rejoice with the person who might have lost whatever. But uh, that, that's at a very simplistic level I suppose. I suggest that we necessarily be alongside say a Marxist uh, who's, who's protesting against some, some injustice um, it's not just us Christians who, of course, uh, uh, promote justice and live, we hope, a just lives. There are many other people, too, who, who do so, and so we often are seen alongside them. And, of course, you're here tonight um, uh, with uh, sort of doing your bit for uh, Pax Christi, and if people want to find out more, uh, who should they go to? 
Well, you'll find that we, I think we're establishing a website at the moment, uh, Pax, just simply Pax Christie New Zealand, or uh, just type in Pax Christie on, on the usual sites. Uh, something should come up one way or another. But Pax, as I say, Pax Christie is based in Auckland. Uh, I, I'm here in Wellington. Um, I'm in the phone book. Contact me. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, Richard, and uh, thanks for coming. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic. I'm